<laughs> Greetings all. Last Outrider here, broadcasting from a secret squirrel location at Noifib. That's N-O-Y-F-B. You can search it. This series is going to be on What is the Inquisition? which I have taken the time to read virtually all inquisitional source material before making this video. Because I know there are a lot of Darth haters out there who will love to correct me if I get anything wrong. So first, the history. In Rogue Trader, there were originally only 12 inquisitors in the entire galaxy, all of which held the same authority as the Emperor. Later on, this has obviously changed. Now, there are 12 Inquisitor Lords in the entire galaxy. <clears throat> but why 12? That was revealed to us in the Horus Heresy, when Malkador, the Sigillet, recruited 12 people, four human, eight space marines, to be the first trainers of the Grey Knights. I believe he took all of Titan and shifted it into the warp for about 100 years. For our time, it was only a few months, and then it popped back. So if you want to know, the Grey Knights did actually exist during the Horus Heresy, but they weren't here, they were in the warp, where time was passing differently. And when they popped back into real space, it was all over. <clears throat> Anyways, now there are 12 Inquisitor Lords. Now, this is going to be an introduction video to just tell you what I think of the Inquisition first, and then I'll read you a lot of fluff. Short answer, I'm not a fan of any of the any novel of the Inquisition, because I see Inquisitors as being transhuman. Why? Well, let's just take a modern day example. There's six to seven billion people on this planet. Who knows how many governmental organizations? Who knows how many secret organizations and stuff like that going on every day around the entire planet? In 40K, a single inquisitor could decipher and dismantle the espionage and secret organizations of this entire planet in her sleep. I'm serious. This would be a technologically primitive planet with a primitive social development compared to what you would see in 40K, where you would have hive cities with upwards of 12 billion people living in a single city. Now, an inquisitor could have investigations that span an entire sector. That would be upwards of a thousand planets, a hundred billion or more people. So ask yourself, if somebody could do an investigation that spans a hundred planets across space and deals with a hundred billion people and all of the complex technology that would then be involved in that, how complicated would it be for a single inquisitor to come and basically take over modern day Earth? They would do it in their sleep. Which leads me to believe that 40,000 years from now, humans have evolved significantly. 
even though we think of you know space marines as being transhuman, I believe that there are many transhumans in 40k. Most of which don't have to be eight feet tall and muscular, but they're transhuman in terms of intellectual ability. Look at Archmagoses of the Adepta Mechanicus, you know, or, or the Adeptus Munitorum, you know, organizations that handle the logistics of millions of soldiers or, or Astra Militarum in a war campaign over a hundred worlds. Or, like I said, just the Archmagoses themselves, which handle the manufacturing and uh, technological supplies of, again, an entire sector of worlds. No human is doing that, as we would define human today. So, because of that, these Scooby-Doo Inquisitors, as I call them, meaning an inquisitor with a little group of five people going off and solving mysteries all by themselves seems implausible that that's that's how i see it i just don't think it could happen but i'm going to give you some fluff here which are going to be reports from an Inquisitor's henchman back to himself, which I think gives a good feel about what it would be like to be an Inquisitor in 40k. And we're going to start now with Lord Inquisitor Zorbe. These files and data slates were unearthed in Tricorn's sealed vault, number 454 Alpha. My lord, this data requires your immediate attention. Signed, Adept Saldan, Artifisax Ignimatum, apparently is his title. <clears throat> Next is a transcript of a procedure. Extract archive. Collegium Authorization RRK slash 090022. Subject KXK99. Name Nuana Zankis. Status Active. Handler Information Deleted. Holding Facility 9K Archeos. Dissemination Lim Limited Tenebrae. Collegium subcell 7 slash sleeper alpha omega. Begin transcript. Handler. Undecipherable speech. Pause. Cannot afford another failure. Deactivating psiocular loop. Feedback stabilizing. Stand by. Subject. Undecipherable. Screaming. Lasting 17 minutes, 45 seconds. Handler. Do you hear me? Subject. I. Handler. Answer me, girl. Do you hear me? Subject. I. Hear. Handler, who are you? Subject, I, I am, I am what you order, my lord. Handler, good. You are Noana Zankis, Reaper of the Seventh Tier. Do you remember now? Subject, I am Noana Zankis. I am Reaper. I am Moritat. Handler. Good. Pause. Two minutes, 28 seconds. 
Who am I, girl? Subject. You? You are... My master. That is all I know. Handler. Good. That is all you need recall. In transcript. Commit the file. YXX slash Tanab slash 2387-3030 slash XN. Next, a paper transcript. Subject, KXK99, subfile Delta 7. Nuana Zankis was born of bloodshed. At age 12, she witnessed an older male sibling come into psychic powers in a violent fashion, calling into being a beast of the abyss during a tribal feast. The fiend possessed her sibling, altering his form into that of an abomination of tooth and claw before slaughtering the household of the tribal chief and feasting on the remains. How Zankis survived in the massacre is a mystery. But when Inquisition agents arrived, they found her in the ruins of the tribe's great hall, smothered in the congealed blood of her own clan. There was no sign of the beast, though a significant psi aura remained. Every settlement for twenty kilometers was raised, and the child passed into the care of a bonded Moritat cell. Zangkis has served the Collegium on many assignments. Following each activation, her experiences were extracted by way of mental probe, and then she was subjected to a deep scan slash meta cleansing ritual. This retrieves a full description of the mission, including the entire range of subjective and objective sensory inputs. These form the basis of the mission archives attached to this archive. Mission Extract First mission. Engage three resurrected H-grade combat servitors at Sabriel facility. Two were terminated by exsanguination. The third by terminal excision of prefrontal cortex. All evidence of mission removed by detachment of docking unit. Mission extract. Terminated, Rogue Psyker, the Lady of Quintus, after seven-month dormancy in a sub-zero null enviro cargo distribution unit aboard Adeptus Mechanicus Mass Conveyance, Fire of the Forge. Kill was only achieved after the termination of approximately 27 dominated minions. Mission Extract Terminated Entire Charlie Company of the Recently Tithed 122nd Vaccinied Dragoons. While the unit was retrieving or receiving adverse environment training at the Solomon Complex, achieved by way of falsifying the company's orders, leading the dragoons into a region of acid marshes for which their protective gear was entirely inappropriate. The company had been earmarked to serve under Inquisitor Hulk's troublesome Section 88 detachment, and its termination is believed to have put back our enemy's agenda by three decades, at least. Mission Extract 
infiltrated Zeros Prime Cordon to recover the remains of certain individuals linked to the Collegium. Whilst searching the ruins atop Hill 9921, Zankis discovered a kill cell, apparently searching for the same remains. The identities of these enemies were never proven, though it is my own belief that they were former agents of Lady Information Deleted, who had reneged on their oaths and were acting against our interests. Zankis engaged in an extended counter-slash-prey scenario, terminating each of the enemy, enemy one individual at a time. Each was a highly skilled foe, and several exhibited significant psychic potential. Though the mission overran by three weeks, the enemies were defeated. Their remains brought back to Facility 9K, along with those she had originally been dispatched to recover. End of initial document. Next video, I will continue on with the missions of DXK slash 12 Alpha, in which you will see what I believe to be the most accurate presentation of what it would actually be like to be an Inquisitor. Not running around on the field, doing Sherlock Holmes types investigations, but sitting back and seeing the big, big picture, and especially when they fight each other most of the time. Until then, bye.